Was Jonah a false prophet? Now, I get comments all the time, particularly from the followers of today's alleged rock star prophets, where they like to use this, or they think they can use this as an example in the Bible of a prophet who falsely prophesied. But is that the case? All right, I am in the book of Jonah, chapter 1. Let's read. Now the word of the Lord came unto Jonah, the son of Amittai, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness is come up before me. And then it goes on to tell you how Jonah fled, he rebelled, and got swallowed by the great fish. So I'm going to skip ahead in real time to chapter 3, and this picks up where Jonah was spat out. Verse 1, And the word of the Lord came unto Jonah the second time, saying, Arise, go unto Nineveh, that great city, and preach unto it the preaching that I bid thee. So Jonah arose and went unto Nineveh, according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an exceeding great city of three days' journey. And Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey, and he cried and said, Yet forty days, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. So the people of Nineveh believed God and proclaimed a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest of them even to the least of them. For word came unto the king of Nineveh, and he arose from his throne, and he laid his robe from him and covered him with sackcloth and sat in ashes. And he caused it to be proclaimed and published through Nineveh by the decree of the king and his nobles, saying, let neither man nor beast, herd nor flock, taste anything. Let them not feed nor drink water. But let man and beast be covered with sackcloth and cry mightily unto God. Yea, let them turn every one from his evil way and from the violence that is in their hands. Who can tell if God will turn and repent and turn away from his fierce anger that we perish not? And God saw their works that they turned from their evil way and God repented of the evil that he had said that he would do unto them, and he did it not. Is this false prophecy? Now again, many today, because they're biblically illiterate, they would say, yes, this is an example of false prophecy. Now, I'm going to prove to you through Holy Scripture that what you read in Jonah certainly is not false prophecy, but it is a conditional proclamation from God Almighty. In chapter 18 of Jeremiah, if we scroll down, starting in verse 7, at what instant I shall, by the way, this is God speaking, at what instant I shall speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom to pluck up and to pull down and to destroy it, if the nation, if that nation against whom I have pronounced turn from their evil, I will repent of the evil that I thought to do unto them. This is textbook of God's declaration as it pertains or as it concerns any nation that he has deemed to pluck up, pull down, and destroy. What you read in the book of Jonah is this. It's God's decree. In no way, shape, or form is the book of Jonah a biblical example of false prophecy. Just stop. Just stop. It's an example, a biblical example, of God's conditional decree to nations. 